Hi and welcome back. In this video on multi-class classification using TensorFlow.js, we are going to look at the problem of digit classification and then we'll build a simple neural network for image classification. We'll be using the MNIST dataset. The MNIST dataset is of handwritten digits and our task is to classify the images of digits into respective digits. Since the range of digits is 0 to 9, it is a multi-class classification problem. This is what the image looks like, which is 28 cross 28, giving us a total of 784 features. We are going to use that 784 features as our input features, pass it to a set of hidden layer units, and pass it to the output layer, which has 10 units, one for each of the digits. Now let's look at the code. Here, I have opened my folder section 6 underscore 4. It has many different files. The data.js file is going to help us import the data. The index.js file gets all the functioning together and our main file is model.js where we write the actual code. So we start as usual by importing the tensorflow.js library. Next, we define the hyperparameters where learning rate is equal to 0.1. The batch size is 64 and the training steps is equal to 100. The image size is 28, the label size is 10 and the optimizer we are going to use is stochastic gradient descent. The number of input neurons is 784, the number of hidden neurons is 392 and the number of output neurons is 10 corresponding to the 10 digits. Next. We create variables that we want to optimize, which is basically the weights leading from the hidden layer to the output layer, the bias on the hidden layer and the bias on the output layer. To create the weights from the input layer to the hidden layer, we do tf.variable, tf.randomnormal and pass it the input neuron size and the hidden neuron size. To create the weights from the hidden layer to the output layer, we pass it the hidden neuron size and the output neuron size. To create the bias, we pass it the same number of hidden neurons and for the bias to the output, we pass it the number of output neurons. Next, we define a loss function as softmax cross entropy. Next, let's create a model. Here, the input is xs which is input as 2d and then we give it a size of batch size input size cross input size. Next we create the first hidden layer where we take the inputs, multiply it with the weight to the hidden layer and add the bias and return it. We create another layer where we take the weights from the hidden layer to the output layer, multiply it with the output from layer 1 and add the bias and return it. Next, we train the model. Here, we take the data. We repeat the number of steps for the train steps. We find out the cost and we minimize it. And in each iteration, we return the loss for the batch size. And from the batch, we take out the labels and the features. Next, we write a prediction function where we basically return the model and the argmax over the axis 1, which is it returns the value which has the highest probability. In the case of digits, it will return the digit which has the highest probability. Now let's look at the output. And this is what the output looks like. We get an accuracy of 86% and the test sample that we sent to the algorithm and the prediction for each of these. Thanks a lot for joining me for this course. I hope you enjoyed it.